Did you know that it's possible to see photos and private profiles on the Instagram? Now it is possible. It does not matter if somebody blocked you or if you do not have permission to see the profile. Throughout Insta Private Viewer, you will be able to share this. We created something exclusive that can help you to see the profiles private or look at easily. And the most important, with anonymate and security. With this way, you will have access to all contents of the profile, photos, videos, and activities. To use these tools is very simple and fast. It is just following the instructions. Step 1. Access our search engine. Step 2. Report the code generated by your activator. This process is necessary to prevent robots from using our system. Step 3. Our system will validate the informed code. Report the username of the profile you wish to view. Step 5. Let our tool do all the work. Step 6. See the profile desired safely and anonymous throughout the link generated. And then, did you like it? Assess now for free and get access to the private profiles of the Instagram YouTube. What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to take good photos of your coffee because that is the most important thing when it comes to being a photographer. So let's get started. So today we're going to be shooting on a 50mm 1.4 prime lens on a Nikon D750. It does not matter what gear you're shooting on though because I'm also going to take some photos on my iPhone and the same principles apply. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do after you make your coffee is to find some good lighting. This my friend, this is some good lighting. Now originally this coffee machine was over there in the kitchen which is very dark and it would still be nice lighting but compared to this desk, does not compare, this one wins. So yeah, so right now I actually have the machine tilted a little bit towards the window. So now that we have our coffee we're going to place it right down in the middle as closest to the window. but keeping it so we have a nice frame to work with. Now we're gonna do some above shots, which is really nice because you can actually get the full look of the coffee. And it's a really good look for your Instagram photos because your Instagram likes determine your self-worth as a photographer. I haven't been getting many likes recently. Now the next thing you wanna do is actually, uh, instead of doing above photos, it's nice to actually get down low and shoot some cool angles of your coffee. This one's gonna emphasize a little bit more of the coffee cup. And in addition, you can shoot in between from shooting up and low, kind of in between so you can see the top surface of the coffee. Now the next tip that you're gonna need when it comes to taking kick-ass photos of your coffee is a shallow depth of field. A shallow depth of field is so important. Now a reminder, if you just got a camera, a shallow depth of field is when only a little bit of your photo is in focus. Now to get a little bit of focus, you're gonna wanna shoot at your lowest aperture possible. This could be f1.4 like I'm shooting today. It could be f1.8, be f2.8, be f4, f5.6, depends on your lens. So now that you have found good light, you're shooting at a very shallow depth of field. Now it's time to play around. You know, you can get some lifestyle things and props into your photo. It could be uh, your laptop, it could be, you know, your sunglasses, anything that kind of emphasizes your lifestyle because, you know, your Instagram life is way cooler. Like, you can just go down to the mall, buy some cool accessories, take photos of it, and then just never use it again because Instagram likes. So now that you've taken photos at all different levels, um, it's time to edit your photo. Now, if you don't have a theme right now on your Instagram, it's awesome to start thinking about a theme. Now, a great way to get a theme is to develop a preset and then use that freaking preset on every single photo you use and adjust. Now, some themes could be light and airy, it can be dark and contrasty, you can be adjusting skin tones a certain way, you can be having warmth in photos or cold. So really learn your style as a photographer and develop this. So let's bring this, these photos into Lightroom. Um, right now, my, my color tones are a little bit more warmer and a little more contrasty, and I bring out the oranges out a little bit. That's my preset. You guys can get my preset for free down below. Be sure to click that. Now, the last step to taking coffee photos, you found good light, you're shooting at a low aperture so it looks creamy, it's out of focus in the background, it's really looking good. You've put on your killer preset on there. So, the last step you want to do, post that baby on Instagram, hashtag coffee, hashtag photographer, now, taking photos of coffee is actually a great way to practice getting good lighting, getting a good picture, practicing your aperture, getting a shallow depth of field, 
and in practicing your editing. So don't be ashamed. Um, and also like coffee is amazing. I love coffee. Be sure to like this photo if you guys liked it. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, drink up your coffee. Be sure to get the free presets below. And also be sure to like my coffee photo to get it to a thousand likes or I'll probably cry to bed tonight.